With so many unique and exciting LEGO sets getting released every year, it's only natural that some get lost in the hype. The history of LEGO is full of hidden gems, and last month I asked you all to tell me your favorite sets that you feel didn't get enough love. So today, I'm here to go over the most underrated LEGO sets as voted on by you. As always, leave a like on this video if you enjoy, and subscribe for more LEGO videos. Alright, let's get into it. First up, we've got a set that totally slipped under the radar when it came out. It's the Spring Lantern Festival. This set was released for the Lunar New Year and features lots of interesting details. I especially love the lantern string. This set also comes with eight minifigures, including several with rare or unique prints. This unicorn shirt was previously only available in the Fairground Academy set, so it's nice to see it brought back. The boy's monkey kid shirt, though, is brand new and unique to this set. In addition, these two minifigures with the 2021 shirts are also unique to this set, as is the Lunar New Year statue minifigure. The Lion Chi Temple from the Legends of Chima theme came out in 2013, but it was only in the spotlight for a very short time. I always liked the Legends of Chima sets. They always had some great minifigures and some of the most unique minifigure heads and accessories, and this set was no different. With seven minifigures, this set came with some incredibly cool accessories. The gold weapons, heavy armor, and capes are all welcome additions to an already amazing set. I think a lot of people forget about this one. This set also included this really fun alligator motorcycle, but the most interesting thing about this set is the way it unfolds. The whole thing collapses in for easy storage, but then also unfolds to access all the play features and detailed interior. Next up is the 3-in-1 LEGO Creator Ferris Wheel from 2021. Selling for 100 US dollars, this set was designed as a central feature for any LEGO city. This 1,000-piece set came with minifigures of a mom, dad, and son, as well as two fair workers, and while it's hardly a unique piece, the top hat here totally sells the fairground vibe for me. As with many sets in the creator line, this set could be built in three different ways. The main one, obviously, is the Ferris wheel, and this thing is great as it has space for more than a dozen minifigures. The whole thing rotates just the way you'd expect with the turn of a crank, and has a nice, smooth motion. My favorite feature here has got to be the balloon animals, though. It's such an amazing little detail, and I really like the simplicity of the builds. But let's not forget about the bumper cars in this set, because those are a really cool addition. Here's a special set from the 2010 LEGO Power Miners line. In my opinion, this entire theme is underrated, but this set in particular needs more attention. The Claw Catcher was a pretty small set with only 258 pieces and two minifigures, but it featured one of the most unique and elaborate mechanisms I've seen in a LEGO set of this size. By pulling back on a little mechanism in the back, you can close the front claws around an object or minifigure. Pull a little bit more, and the claws toss the captured target into the holding pen in the back. This is just so much fun, and honestly, it's kind of wild that we don't get more sets with this type of feature. The only modular in today's video is the Brick Bank from 2016. Now, it's hard to say that any modular is truly underrated, but perhaps out of the bunch, this one is the most underrated because I saw it commented a lot from you guys. This set is just so chock full of details that I don't even know where to begin. Of course, the most important part of any bank is the vault and the brick bank vault opens and closes smoothly, features several safe deposit boxes, and what appears to be large piles of cash just sitting around. Some other great details include the giant check made out to a contestant winner in the value of 500 studs, as well as the robbers on top of that that have a secret way into the vault, and this guy putting all those bills into the washing machine. He's money laundering. Get it? Turning to an underrated set from what might be the biggest LEGO franchise today, it's the Firestone Mech from Ninjago. Released in 2020, this towering build stands over a foot tall and comes with nearly 1,000 parts and 5 minifigures. The thing that really sets this one apart from other mechs in the Ninjago series is the two-toned color palette. This design is definitely eye-catching, and I can appreciate how much LEGO leaned into that idea. The swords, the stickers on the legs and shoulders, and even the texture of the pieces on the feet are all split down to the middle that reflect the fire and stone nature of the mech. I also like how the center of the body is this lighter yellow color where the fire and stone supposedly fuse together. It's also worth pointing out the minifigures in this set because the five minifigures are all fairly interesting and come with several very cool accessories like armor, masks, and weapons. 
The LEGO movies have created some absolutely amazing sets, but perhaps none are more underrated than Welcome to Apocalypseburg. Released in 2019 with the LEGO Movie 2, this is the largest set on today's list with over 3,000 pieces and stands at nearly 2 feet tall. Tucked all throughout this set are countless references to the LEGO Movie, from Emmett's love for coffee to Chainsaw Dave's surfboard, fans will find something interesting in every part of this set, which truly makes it unique. LEGO really made a point to make this set feel like an actual town despite the setting. There's a police station, diner, picnic area, and yes, even a tattoo parlor. One of the real standout features of this set though are the 11 unique minifigures included. While Emmett and Wildstyle or Lucy both appear in other sets, minifigures like Battle Ready Batman, Apocalypseburg Green Lantern, and Harley Quinn were only ever released in this set. Coming up, we've got not only an underrated set, but an entire theme, Lego Mixels. Mixels was a series that tied into a Lego cartoon on Cartoon Network that ran from 2014 to 2016, releasing a total of 80 sets across nine waves. When these sets were in stores, I absolutely loved them, and always looked forward to the next wave. At only $5 a pop, these were extremely affordable and included several unique and interesting pieces each. Basically, every character was fully posable, and each group of three shared a theme and colors to tie them all together. One of my favorite Mixels has got to be Velectro from Series 1. I mean, just look at this guy's hair. Glomp from Series 3 was also a fun one, with extra long legs and shorter arms to play with the proportions. He stands a head above everyone else in the series. But easily, my favorite of these has got to be Cobrax from Series 9. He was one of the very last sets in this series that was ever released, and it really shows how far the design of this theme came. LEGO Ideas sets are typically fan favorites, which makes sense as they're voted on before they're ever produced. But not every Ideas set has earned the same reputation among LEGO lovers. I think one of the most overlooked sets has got to be the Beatles' Yellow Submarine from 2016. The final result is a straightforward representation of the iconic transport. Sadly, there isn't much in the way of interior or unique detail to this set, which has probably led to its less-than-loved status by many collectors. But it's worth pointing out the five minifigures, though. These perfectly capture the Fab Four in all their cartoonish glory. Each has a small accessory, and the set even includes a one-of-a-kind minifigure of Jeremy, the oft-forgotten fifth member of the Yellow Submarine's crew. Next up is a very recent set. It's the Obi-Wan Kenobi vs. Darth Vader set from 2022. At first glance, this set might not seem very interesting. It's a fairly flat set with just a few minifigures, but there's actually a surprising amount to like about this set. First of all, these minifigures are actually unique to this set, so collectors will certainly want to take note. Looking at the set though, you can launch lava at the characters, you can spin the characters on their platform as if they're dueling, and the whole set slides apart to reveal more lava rushing from below. Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, this set is just plain fun to play with. Do you know of a set that you think is underrated? Comment below. Click here to watch one of my favorite videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and subscribe for more LEGO videos.